one, zero, all engine running. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. Hey everybody, welcome back to Mission Control for another quick tips video. This video we're going to talk about rate masters. Rate masters allow you to quickly change the rate of shapes, keyframe shapes, pixel map effects, and chases. These can be assigned to any fader or playback on the console. The rate grand master will affect all effects and chases, including effects still on the programmer. Up to four rate masters can be assigned to specific playbacks as desired. Press record, then the softies choose create master, rate, and then which master you want to assign. If using Rate Masters 1 through 4, you'll have from the Options menu the playback you wish to have listened to the master by pressing the Options and then selecting the playback you wish to assign, and in the Effects tab, change the speed source to the master you want it to be controlled by. The difference between a Rate Master and a BPM Master is that a BPM Master sets the BPM of the playback in the BPM you set. A Rate Master is a percentage of the saved speed of the playback, i.e. a playback saved with a speed of 30 BPM would run at 15 BPM with a Rate Master set at 50%, or at 60 BPM with a Rate Master set to 200%. Rate Masters can be recorded to any fader or executor key and the following windows, Playbacks, Macros, Virtual Faders, Static Playback, or the Mobile Wing. You can also control a Rate Master with the wheels by connecting to it by pressing the connect slash Q key and then selecting the masters or setting the key profile to connect. Let's take a look at that. Here I am on version 14 of Titan with the Titan Go interface. As you see here, I've got some playbacks here. I've got a couple of shapes, a keyframe shape, and a pixel map effect. First, I want to go ahead and say to rate master so I can go ahead and hit record and then create master. Then rate, and we'll set our rate grandmaster to this fader here, and we'll set our rate master one to this fader here. Then you exit out of this menu by pressing and hold AVO, right click on the Titan Go interface, and hitting exit. And now we can see that if we fire one of our playbacks, and you see our rate grandmaster controls it automatically because it's grand. Also, record anything that is in the programmer. So if we just select the fixtures and we give them a locate and a little bit of tilt, and then shapes and effects, shape generator, create, pan tilt, circle. I can see that if we bring our rate up, our shape moves faster, and then bring it down, it moves slower. You can also release the master by clicking release and the blue button on it and set it back to its default. We also call a pixel map effect. So we see here, we have this pixel running, and we bring our rate grandmaster down. We see that this runs effect runs slower, and if we speed it up, the effect runs quicker. If we wanted to control a particular effect with a particular speed master, we'd have to assign it. If we wanted this effect here to listen to this rate master, we'd have to assign it. So we can go in and go options, and select the playback, and the effects tab set our speed source to rate master one. And then exit out of this menu, we fire the playback, and now if we bring the rate master up, we can see that it runs faster, and if we bring it down, it runs slower. Rate masters can be a put in window, such as the playbacks window. So if we bring that up, and we were to move our rate grandmaster to a window here, and we were to fire our keyframe shape, we can connect to it by hitting the connect Q key. And then our grandmaster, and then we see we control it by the wheels. We can speed it up or slow it down. And we can disconnect to it from it by hitting the Q key twice. Great masters, you have the following options set in the options menu handle paging, locks or unlocks the handle to the pages, key profile. Sets how the keys behave when set to actions such as freeze. Scale sets the range when used with the fader or on the wheels. Let's take a look at that. So if we go to hit options and I'll choose our rate master one here, we can see that we set its paging to be locked so it would stay locked to this page of faders or not. We set its key profile. If we click the master tab, we can also set its scale to be 0 to 100, 200, 400, 600, or 1,000. If we were to change our key profile, and we'll just go ahead and add new. And we'll leave it with called Rate Master 1. And we'll set our blue key to be freeze, our gray key to
to be connect, and our touch to executor key to also be connect. If we were to find our playback that this is connected to, we can see that if we hit our blue button, which is now freeze, that it drops our rate to zero and freezes our playback. When we release it, it goes back to doing its uh, speed that it was before. If we use our flash key, we can see that it connects to it, so now we can control it with the wheels. If we remove it to our playbacks workspace, we can just simply click on it and have it connect to the wheels automatically. And again, release it by double tapping the Q key. Chases, of course, can also be controlled by the Rate Master. So, if you see here, I've got a chase. Here's a save speed of 60 BPM. So, if we go into the options for it, and we go to the effects tab, and we set our speed source to be Rate Master 1. And again, we check into the times that the speed is currently saved at 60 BPM. So, if we fire this chase, now, if we change our rate master, if we increase it to 200%, our chase is now running at 120 BPM. If we drop it to 50%, our chase is now running at 30 BPM. So that's been Rate Masters in version 14 of Titan. I hope you learned something. Please subscribe and join us next time. Thanks. Bye. Wheel stop. Roger, wheel stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.